How the devil are you? So it's Friday, which means more 40k. And uh, I'm sorry for the late upload this evening. I've been in uh, Glasgow for the week. Managed to get uh, Wednesdays up and done and sorted, but this one I'm having to film today. So we're going to take a look at Canoptic Acanthrites for the Necrons. The single instruction sheet is not uh, phenomenal in its uh, layout. So let's take a look at all of the bits that you get. Oh, huge pile of resin! Canoptic acanthrites, uh, acanthrites then, to give you a bit of fluff behind them. On your generic Necron tomb worlds, everyone's asleep, and the systems are all maintained by the canoptic constructs, which all look like bugs, so you get the wraiths, you get the tomb stalkers and, and, and the like. Um, this is a, a forge world canoptic construct that's uh, a, a cross between um, a wraith, I guess, and a tomb spider. They sort of fly around and mess stuff up. So, they're modelled very closely on locusts, which is very cool. You have the uh, main body section here, and you get three in a pack, different main body sections to give you three different poses and they all sit on these lovely ball joints. Now my experience with these ball joints so far has been iffy to say the least. If I pop that into there, mm, doesn't stay in too well so I will probably try and drop a magnet or something in here or maybe I might end up having to stick these onto their, their posts permanently but the ball joints I have issues with. So they come on the ball joints, you get the three different bodies obviously three bases and a choice of four different uh, well four different uh, clear flying poles that you could use obviously Two of them are going to be on the same height, whichever combination that you go for. Okay, these constructs fly around using these little hovering orbs. So, this side of it here fits into the holes on the back and they stick out to the sides. What I'd like to do with these is uh, get some clear acetate or some clear plastic and try and cut little wing sections to give them little energy wings. But again you get three of these sprues for their um, levitating orbs or their wings whatever you want to call them. One for each canthrite. Three upper torso plates. So these on top of here go onto this section give it a little bit more uh, oomph and below there in the head whoop, you get the three canoptic face plates now there's no variation in these unlike uh, wraiths where they give you the different face plates that you can have so that's a little bit of a little bit of a shame might try and swap some wraith parts out they all have the standard Necron looking mandibles, very similar to Triarch Stalkers, very similar to Wraiths. They all have these sections and you get a goodly few varying sizes, varying poses to put down the side. Okay. The tips of the tails here, where there is this convenient looking hollow, are for these stingers which are basically void blades which you can fit into the gap on the end of the tail there which is kind of cool very insect like you have these sections here which are like the feeder mandibles that you see on insects they go just in front of the face plates just in front of the jaws uh, where have I put those face plates so on the bottom of the face plates, see these two little sections there? They fit in like that and 
like that on the other side. Little feeder mandibles. And the final thing, which is I think the coolest thing about these acanthrites, I mean I know they look cool and everything, but the coolest thing about them is their weaponry. These are the only, the only things in the Necron Codex, I say Necron Codex, in your uh, Imperial Armour books for Necrons, that have the Melter special rule. Okay, Heat beams, cutting lances, I can't remember the actual uh, stats for them, I just remember these are the only things the Necrons get with Melter. So fantastic for anti-armour. So I'm going to be getting a few of these um, to go for... Uh, well, a canoptic themed list is one of the things that I'd like to do with one of my dynasties or one of my games. So lots of wraiths, lots of acanthrites, lots of cryptex in the royal court and some very basic warriors just to fill the troops choice, tomb spiders and uh, scarabs, which I think could be a very, very cool but very, very fluffy list. And of course, as everyone here knows, I do like my fluff. So... Canoptic Acanthrites, big freaky looking locusts when they're built, and they should be pretty darn cool. Right folks, uh, that has been your offering today for your 40k Friday, short and sweet, and I will be making progress on some more bits and bobs to run you through in the near future. Stay safe, folks, have fun, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.